end, and that is a beautiful sound. That's what I'm playing through right now. So this sound, you know. This sound is glorious, you know, this, this reverb sound. I'm going to have to have one of those. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've been using a pedal that I that I I get from Italy called uh, the Il Distasore. I've been using that quite a bit. That's a signature model. Yeah, a little signature model, and I've got I've got one on pretty much each of my pedal boards, and um, that thing I really like because it sounds good with single coils. You know, in other words, it sounds good with everything, but it doesn't mush out. A lot of pedals get mushy below C sharp distortion. Mm -hmm. Fizzy kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're just mushy in that they. You, the tone is just too much like a kind of like that, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't get a, a, a beam tone out of it anymore. So, so I find with single coils you have to jump through more hoops to get a great distortion sound. You know, with a humbucker, back pickup, straight into an amp, you're almost there. You know, if, if not there. With single coils, you have to massage it a little bit. You know, they they don't have the output. So, I try to use an amp with a sem with a little bit of distortion on it already. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a little bit of breakup, I should say, and then take a pedal to go over the top. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I do it. But I don't know. I've been using a lot of the same gear for quite a while now, not really changing things too much. Um, I get a lot of pedals in the mail. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know why, but they seem to multiply. Yeah, I wonder why. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> I got this interesting phase shifter called the Virtuoso the other day, and it's basically kind of like a, um, a Phase 90, that same vintage sound, uh, MXR Phase 90, but it has slow, medium, and fast. And the sound quality is so good that this could even be a studio device made by a French company called Heptode. And uh, that came in the mail the other day, and I'm, I'm looking for a spot to use it, you know. I don't oh. use phase shifting that much. It's really so, come back, though, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is nice, yeah. yeah. I remember when they were built in amps like the old Music Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, they seem to be coming back. And yeah. I don't know if people can see behind, but the, the, the guy likes pedals. Yeah, I do. There's just no question about it. These are the ones that aren't on pedal boards. <laughs> right. So. so, yeah, I don't, I gotta say, I don't have a lot of new and exciting gear. I'm not one of those guys that sell stuff to get new stuff all the time. I just mm. sort of. Um, but I think that Strymon Flint thing is something I'm going to have to have. You might have to have one. You start checking out their other stuff, and yeah, you'll be it's good you'll stuff. walk out with a smile. <laughs> yeah, right, so. yeah, they've got some uh, they've got some definitely interesting yeah stuff there. Yeah, a new, different take on it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, what are you what are you playing through as an amp these days when you're playing? Well, let's days? see. When I, when my band plays, I'm I'm using a stereo clean side and. That can either be two Fender Twins or two AC30s or one of each. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing that for many years. And then the distortion side is, I like to use a Dr. Z SRZ65, which is a um, kind of like a Marshall, only it doesn't have a normal and bass channel. Instead, it has one channel. Mm -hmm. So that means you're using both sides of V1, the first two. Mm -hmm. So it's more pedal friendly. It doesn't squeal on you. And that amp is... It's a master volume amp, which I'm not into, but when you turn the master all the way up, it's out of the circuit, according to Dr. Z, Michael Zay. Mm -hmm. So I use that as my main distortion amp, but mm -hmm. I have a wet-dry rig so on the, wet, on the distortion side, so I, I return my echo through a 100-watt um, Marshall. Oh. The, 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 like the effects in of a 100-watt Marshall, except mine's a 69 Plexi, so it didn't have effects in. So, so how do you? What do you, do you, you have to have it modified. You have to modify. One of the base channels is a, is a is a is a power amp in. Oh. That's the way I do it. Okay. So then then when I hit this lexicon delay in my little rack, um, the delay out goes to you know its line level. What kind of is it? A PC PC forty one. Forty one. Okay. I got a seventy as well, but not in that rig. Okay. So but, but it's a PCM forty one, and that thing. Uh, it's just great sounding, you know, and I just kind of leave it on all night long as part of the distortion sound. So the sound of a thousand records. Yeah, I know. I just <laughs> love that thing. I keep one in Europe, too. Yeah. Gotta have it. <laughs> so wet-dry distortion. That's hardcore, folks. Clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta same. have the same Took True devotee. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, so that's, that's basically it, you know, some pedals. So if you do an A-B style, you're very organic because... 
when I'm playing, say, a clean lick like, um, like a, say, a clean rhythm part, I can hit the button right now and go a lick, right, on the distortion side of my rig. And the delays and reverbs of that hang over when I go back to, right? So nothing cuts off. And when you yeah. use MIDI or even channel switching, this ends while you do that. But, but the delay and reverb of the clean rig trails over. Trails over. Yeah, and it's not overly wet. It's just that the, you don't hear a cutoff. You know? Right. And I use those Lely pedals, Layla, Burkhardt Layla pedals. Oh, those are, for AB. Those are fantastic yeah. pedals, aren't they? Yeah. For AB. And... Uh, then you can even add both. You can have both sides going. And there's a trim pot to make your, your lead sound quieter in the both mode. That works pretty well. Ooh. And then there's a mute button. So, you know, out of that I go to uh, like a Zen drive on the clean side, just one distortion pedal. And then there's four distortion pedals on the dirty side. <laughs> oh, wow. So, and a wah wah. And, and are you cascading those into each other? Or are they all in their individual loop? They're, they're cascaded into each other, and there's a few songs where you need them both, two, two on at once. Okay. Basically, I've got two set up for the Strat, mm -hmm. and then I have one set up for my SG or 335 or whatever Gibson I happen to have along. I sometimes bring the Flying V on the road, you know. And that one set up for that guitar is perfect. You know, it's the humbucker designated one. Mm -hmm. And then I have a fourth thing, which is just like one of those Voodoo Lab Pro Octavias, which is a Octavia that I'm going to use maybe twice a night. But it's a cool sound. Right, right. When you do use it, so yeah, those are cool sounding. Yeah, yeah. Plus they're consistent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, so yeah, I've been using that same stuff for quite a while though. Mm-hmm. And then for Super Tramp, I use a much bigger pedal board, and uh, I have a little tiny pedal board that fits in a shoulder strap bag mm -hmm. that's just got distortion, delay, and reverb on it, and a tuner. Mm -hmm. And then I have a studio pedal board, which is right down here, which has a volume pedal on it. And then I have an acoustic rig pedal board. So five pedal boards is a lot, but they all get used, you know. Mm -hmm.